Hey guys, Rev here, and today I got something a little different. I've been reviewing quite a bit of M4s, and this time I got something that a few people have been asking for quite some time. The Scar L, and not just any regular one. I got this one for less than $30. Wow, what an amazing deal. I'll be giving this gun away to one lucky subscriber. To enter, subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. Let me know what airsoft gun you want me to review next. And I noticed that 66% of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as that's the easiest way to know when my next video comes out and when I do giveaways. Now onto the review. Taking a look at the box and 400 FPS, what? <laughs> this thing isn't legal in any fields as a rifle. This has to be a misprint, but actually it's probably measuring with this with BBs that weigh less than 0.20s. Let's say that for the chrono. The box it comes with is quite large, and opening this thing up, you get a folded Scar L with a vertical grip already attached, a magazine, and some crappy BBs. The gun is relatively light and made out of plastic. The only pieces that are functioning are the front and rear sights, the safe and fire switch, the charging handle, and the trigger. In addition, the stock is collapsible, but you can't really adjust it that well. The magazine is one of those cheap high caps that you need to pull down the spring and let the BBs feed down the trap door. It's really annoying to use, as no matter how many times you try to shake it like a maraca or a <laughs> Polaroid picture, you never get all the BBs to go down. In total, I get about 20 BBs to feed inside the magazine. Using this thing is really easy, and all you have to do is load the magazine in, rack the charging handle, and fire. Yes, this thing is a springer, but taking it to the chrono, I get around 350 FPS on point two O's, which is lower than what it was packaged, but it's pretty high. Let me explain later. So what do I like about this gun? Well, for one thing, it's a size. It's pretty similar to the other AEG SCAR that I had previously. And if you're looking for a prop, this is the way to go. You can even mount accessories on it as well. As for using this, for your backyard games, this is actually really accurate and it's not made of that cheap plastic that will eventually break. The charging handle feels more durable than other cheap springers. Now, what are the things I do not like about this? Well, the magazine is something that is very annoying. I found that having to shake it after 20 shots is a huge disadvantage. But what about taking this to the airsoft field with other AEGs? It's not the worst, as people will definitely feel and call their hits, but you'll be at a huge disadvantage. The best way I describe it is using this thing like those single fire shotgun springers. Lastly, the charging handle is in this awkward position, making reloading each time a little challenging. Bottom line, what do I think about the Scar L from Cybergun? It's not a bad springer for less than $30. If you're looking for something for backyard airsoft, this is pretty good, as it's going to last a lot longer than other cheap springer companies <coughs> UK arms, within that price range. With its added touches, such as retractable stock and front and rear sights, it's pretty good looking for a replica. And taking this to the airsoft field, you may be at a disadvantage, but not in the way you would think with a cheap springer. The FPS is right up there with other spring-powered airsoft replicas, but the location of the charging handle and the magazine make it a challenge to use at an airsoft arena. Lastly, you'll only be able to use this thing in CQB fields, as there's no hop-up and the shots are quite inconsistent. All in all, you get what you pay for. Anyways guys, I'm sorry if this video was a little short as I'm preparing something very special. The next review will be quite interesting and different from any other spring airsoft gun you've ever seen before. Don't forget to like this if you enjoy it, comment for more, and subscribe as well. I'm Revention, and I'll see you guys next time.